This is my rose journal. It's a hard book cover. Um, it's been covered with rose covered napkins that have been decoupage or mod podged on. And um, I thought it, the color was a little strong, so I used a little bit of gesso just to lightly touch up, uh, just to give it a little bit more white um, looking. The front is also decoupaged with napkins here and here. Um, this is a piece of cardboard, which um, is corrugated, as you can see. Um, put gesso on it tore some pieces off and put more gesso and then napkins on top of that. And um, underneath is a piece of canvas that I gessoed and then I put napkins on and then I cut it apart and then I put it, I put a layer underneath this corrugated cardboard. So if you have any questions, just um, send me a message and I'll I'll explain it to you. Um, this is basically pink, black, and white. Um, I had some black and white pages that I have as printables, and I wanted to to do something striking, so I I chose pink to go with it, and I, I'm glad I did because it came out real good. Um, these are some of the tuck spots. Actually, this is a belly band. And this is a piece of acetate that I've stitched in between this frame um, and use it as a tuck spot so it's glued on three, two sides so that it can be used as a tuck spot. A little paper clip. All it is is a double sided flower on a paper clip. I believe that was gifted to me. Um, can't remember. I, I'm not sure where that came from, but um, this was wallpaper, um, and I think it looked pretty good with the the black um, against it. So um, this one is not as embellished as uh, some of my past ones are. Uh, so there's a lot more room for journaling. A lot more pages actually in it. Um, that are ready uh, for journaling or adding pictures and, and um, whatever collections you might have. Just going to quickly flip through just so you have an idea. Um, this is a gessoed piece of note paper. And I like using parchment paper. It just gives a nice feel to it. If I'm not coffee dyeing, then I'm using parchment paper normally. And this parchment paper is, it comes in different colors. Graph paper. This is a piece of canvas which I I put through the copy machine. Um, it makes a great pocket, but it's it's really it really feels nice. It's it's a fabric rather than paper. A lot of these are just blank pages, but there's a good amount of of um, journaling room, as you can see. Now this is the, the beginning of the second signature. Um, I put a little canning jar with a black flower, as you can see, with a um, die cut and, and rose. Just going to point out just some of the embellished areas um, so that this is a, an actual piece of handmade paper which um, I tore and then put it on um, and adhered it onto another page. But um, adding just adding the feathers with it just made me think it think vintage. Trying to use my die cuts. <laughs> it's tough trying to get ideas on how to use die cuts. Maybe I should make a list and, and make a video. Alright, I think 
most of these are I'm gonna make this one short this is the strips that are um, ribbon folded and stitched on uh, there are many videos on this it's just a piece of scrap if I keep all my scrap strips and this is what it looks like and I just ruffle them up and haphazardly I mean it really there is no rhyme or reason no straightness no but just I keep on stitching keep on stitching and that's what I've used um, on this particular page to make a great tuck spot Uh, in this one, I used a um, wax seal. And I used my die cut as a stencil. So as you can see on this page, this is the actual die cut. And I did it over a piece of paper or this die cut and it made this image by just um, using my inks and my um, my inking tools A little bit of decoupaged um, book paper. Here again is another wax seal. More ruffled border. And there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this journal as much as I had making it. And thank you for your time. I know your time is precious. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.